Bo Dealey, and welcome to Something Edible. Ours is a house that loves puppy chow. The guys that make the uh, rice cereal, they call it Muddy Buddies, but in my house, it's called puppy chow. You're talking chocolate, you're talking peanut butter, covered in powdered sugar. Um, it's an awesome snack and it doesn't sit very long at my house. We make a lot of it. I bet I make it every couple of weeks or so. But uh, the thing is, is I, it gets a little redundant for me. I'm a guy that likes a little bit of variety. And so really, I got a little crazy with my puppy chow one time and decided to uh, infuse the flavors of Mexican chocolate. We're talking about vanilla. We're talking about cinnamon. And uh, to offset those flavors with that dark chocolate that's been spiced, I put, uh, I put ancho chili spiced pecans in along with it. So basically what you've got after that is a variation on just a snack that everybody loves. It's Mexican chocolate puppy chow. So let me show you how to make it. We're going to toast some pecans to begin with and uh, get right into making our chow. All right, I got some butter over medium heat in a nonstick skillet on this stove right now. And it's just starting to get bubbly. It's just starting to foam up. And so we want to start adding some spices to this now. So I got a half teaspoon of uh, fresh ground ancho chili. You can use chili powder too, but they, sometimes they put stuff in chili powder and you don't quite know what it is. So, you know, I like to ground my, uh, my chili fresh. And you can see what it's doing already. That's an awesome color. I also, if you like a little more heat, which I do, I add an eighth of a teaspoon of either uh, ground red chili flake or cayenne pepper. And then uh, you can't have uh, nuts without salt, so I add a, a quarter teaspoon of uh, kosher salt in there too. So with all that in there, and this is starting to foam up, which is what you want, I'm going to add uh, three ounces of uh, pecan halves. That's three ounces by weight is about uh, three quarters of a cup. If you want more nuts, add more nuts. It's your, uh, it's your chow, so whatever. So I'm going to toss those with there. If you're into exhibition, you can uh, certainly uh, flip a skillet. But if you get one of these chili butter soaked pecans coming out of the, uh, jumping out at you, then uh, I'm not paying your cleaning bill. All right, so we spread those out in there. The thing about the, the fats that you're dealing with here, you got fats in the nuts, you got fats in the butter, and when it burns, it's going to burn quick. So you can't step away from these really. You're going to have to wait and you're going to have to watch these a little and give these a couple of, of stirs while this is browning up and don't rush it either. You're on medium heat right now, so make sure you stay on medium and uh, we're going to watch these and and uh, let them toast. All right, I'm about uh, five minutes later and uh, I've had to turn the heat down a little bit. You really got to watch that heat. Even though you start at medium, you might need to back it off to uh, medium low or even low as you go because when that, when that starts to smoke like that, what you don't want to do is you don't want to burn it. And you're going to have to really watch this like a hawk and make sure that, uh, that uh, none of this burns in here. I'm about to the point where I'm pretty happy with this. This isn't burnt, by the way. Those are uh, flecks of uh, chili. Those are, that's toasted now. That's, that's done. So I'm going I'm to kill the heat and I'm going to put them into a bowl. Yeah. Oh, missed one. And take this, uh, if you can get that, uh, that extra butter out of there too, more power to you. That's, that's good stuff. So that'll, uh, that'll just add flavor. Okay, that's good. We let those cool. You don't want to stick the, you got to do this first. You don't want to, you don't want to stick those in hot because uh, that's going to ruin your puppy chow if you do. So we're good. We'll let those cool and uh, we'll go get started on the uh, puppy chow proper. All right, now that we've got our pecans done, we need to make the uh, base for our chow. We have to have that chocolate base. So I'm going to take, I got a 85% uh, uh, chocolate bar here. This is the dark stuff. Uh, if you don't like this, go with something, uh, go with something less. Go 70, go 50. You could even use semi-sweet chocolate if you really want here, but it's not going to melt as nice. So if you want chocolate chips, use chocolate chips. This is about three and a quarter ounces. So you gotta weigh that out or something if you need, if you're using something else besides one standard bar. I'm adding two tablespoons of butter, not margarine to that. And uh, then I'm also adding a quarter cup of uh, creamy peanut butter. I think you gotta use creamy here. I don't think chunky would really, really go. Besides you got pecans coming into this anyway. Uh, you're also gonna add a, a pinch of salt 
and we're going to add uh, more, uh, we're going to add some cinnamon to this. So that's about uh, a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Nope, that's a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. We'll put the half in later. All right, so we're good there. And I'm going to move this to the uh, microwave. Yes, the microwave. It's, the microwave's best for this. It gets you in out in a hurry and you're not heating up the stove. So I'm going to do this for about, uh, oh, about 30 second intervals at a go and stir it as we need to until it gets smooth. You want everything smooth and integrated. All right. I will say that my microwave is a little beefier than most. This is, I want to say this is a 1400 watt microwave. So 30 seconds for me may not be 30 seconds for you. Uh, you know, a lot of microwaves are somewhere between 900 to 1100 watts. And so uh, it's all about knowing the microwave. So 30 seconds isn't set in stone. You're just going to have to watch it. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we're gonna have to stir that. All right, you can already see the butter's melted, the peanut butter's pretty melted, um, but the chocolate's not quite there yet. That's okay. Um, the main thing here is, is you just wanna make sure that everything's together. Um, that's gonna need, in my microwave, that's gonna need about 30 seconds more. And you could probably rush that along if you, uh, if you use like chopped your chocolate up in smaller bits. But this 85% stuff melts really, really easy and really, really smooth. So that looks pretty good. Let's do 30 seconds longer and see where that gets us. You know, the microwave's good for a few things. Um, like you can't really bake in it, but uh, you can uh, steam vegetables, milk ch melt chocolate. Uh, you know, it's good for a few things. And, you know, and frankly, I mean, some people say, yeah, microwave popcorn. I'd, I'd rather do my popcorn elsewhere, but yeah, it'll do popcorn too. Three, two, one, good. All right, let's see where we're at here. Oh yeah, there's nothing clumpy in there. And now to that hot mess, we're gonna add Two teaspoons of uh, vanilla extract, real vanilla, please. Um, we add it now so that uh, the vanilla doesn't cook off when everything's cooking in there. You know, vanilla uses vanilla extract uses alcohol to carry those flavors, and you don't want all that evaporating. We're pretty good there. That's that's ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add that to the chow. I got you need a big container for this, big container, and. Uh, in that big container, we're going to add six ounces or six cups of uh, rice checks. And then we're going to add the, uh, we're going to add our chocolate stuff to that. So in we go. Can't show you this very well. Essentially what you're doing here is you're just folding that in. It doesn't look like it's all going to coat, but it will. The thing you don't want to do, you don't want to, you don't want to beat the crud out of this stuff. You just want to fold it. You bring the spatula in underneath and just get under there and just, just toss it around. You want to make sure that it's evenly coated. And if you leave a little bit of chocolate stuff behind, it's not a big deal because we're going to come back in here and we're going we're gonna to shake in this thing anyway. So don't do dishes yet. You're going to use this again. All right. That's, that's nice and coated. That's about where we want to be. This needs to go on a silicone lined parch or parchment lined sheet pan. Make sure that uh, your uh, chocolate stuff sits on that piece of cereal and has time to set up a little bit. So we're going to leave this out. This is one of the secrets to puppy chow, by the way. I mean, even if you're not making the, uh, even if you're not making the Mexican chocolate stuff, this is a secret to it that you'll want to use. The, uh, you know, if you've ever added, had to add too much powdered sugar, 
or it felt like you had to add more than the recipe called for, it's probably because you didn't wait long enough to uh, add the powdered sugar. And I actually, there's a, there's a trick to it. You gotta add the powdered sugar in stages. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this sit. We're gonna let it sit for about, uh, just about a half hour out on the counter to, uh, to dry up a little bit. And, and if you wanted to hurry this, you could probably hurry it in the freezer, but it's better if you can let it sit. So here it will sit for about 30 minutes, and after that's done, we'll come back and we'll uh, do stage one of the, uh, of the powdered sugar coating. All right, I got my big, dirty puppy chow tub. I've let this stuff sit for about 30 minutes. Um, we've got to the point now where, uh, where I'm fairly confident that uh, when I add the powdered sugar, it's just not going to melt all over it. You'll get a little bit of that, but not a lot. That makes bad puppy chow, and we want good puppy chow. So... Here's another reason I like these uh, silicone mats so much. Look at that. I'm going to be able to take this and I'm going to be able to put it right into my big old tub just like that. Look at that. We're good. That's, that's it. That's very little cleanup. Puppy chow is in there. One half cup of the powdered sugar. Not all of it. We're going to put a quarter cup in later. So I'm going to sprinkle that in there. Put my lid on here. Maybe. There it is. Keep one hand on this lid, trust me. So now we're just gonna run this around. Now what you got here, you almost have puppy chow. Not quite, but almost. What we need to do now is we need to make sure that this sets up really well. So I'm going to take this whole thing, lit it up, and I'm going to go put it in my uh, put in my deep freeze for about 10-15 minutes. And uh, when we come out, we're going to finish this with the nuts and the rest of the powdered sugar and a little more cinnamon. A little time in the freezer, and I think we're good to go. It's time to add the rest of what we need to this puppy chow. So I'm going to add uh, my pecans. and the reserved quarter cup of powdered sugar and a little more cinnamon. You get that cinnamon twice and then uh, you know, you're tasting it in the chocolate and you're tasting it in the sugar. I've made it without putting the cinnamon in the sugar. This is, this is the way to go. So I'm gonna lid this up and we're gonna shake it one more time. All that stuff that was stuck to the sides totally uh, came off of there. We've got that integrated into the mix now. So, oh yeah, this is good. We need to get this in a bowl. Oh yeah, look at that. We got all these polished pieces of uh, puppy chow. We got those uh, sugar and chili coated uh, nuts. I'm gonna get me some of this. You know, even if you're not a huge fan of dark chocolate, I think you gotta try this. There's enough sweet on here and it's backed up by the vanilla and that cinnamon that uh, the dark chocolate just works. I think if you go too sweet here and you use a, a, a milder chocolate, you're not gonna get that same uh, Mexican chocolate kick. Um, and if you like spicy, man, these nuts are the way to go. You got uh, chili, you got butter, a little bit of powdered sugar on there. And if you're really a pecan fiend, you can double the pecans in there, and uh, it's still going to be great. So, yeah, you got to watch yourself. You could really get away with a whole bowl of this stuff if you don't, if you're not careful. So, anyway, if you want to, if you want to try this yourself, then uh, check out uh, more at the uh, the recipe over at Hayes Daily News. Or if you want all the details, you can go over to my website, somethingedible.com, where you got some photos and a few more details. And as always, if you got questions. You can look me up on uh, Facebook or even Twitter. So uh, I'm going to eat some more puppy chow. You can go find your own.